Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Now we're making great progress on our garage ed segments, and this one's all about controls, switches, relays, stuff that makes your car work. And I want to take a look at the table here. I want to talk about some switches. Well, it could be as simple as a solenoid switch, like a starter you can see right here. Just engages, when it engages, it makes a contact and it allows the voltage to go to your starter. You could have a four-wheel drive switch, a toggle switch, but what I want to focus on is relays because they're super important. And I have a relay right here. And the important part of this relay is actually the terminals. You can see the terminals right here, 87, 30, 85, and 86. Take a look at this graphic because this is important. When we're talking about a relay, we have a control side and we have the actual load side. And 86 and 85 is the control side. That's going to be the low amps. 30 over to 87 to 87A, that's my high voltage and my high amp size. That's what's going to run the component. So if we're dealing with a relay like this one, we're going to go ahead and use our kit here. I have two things from rockauto.com. First of all, I have a kit right here which actually pulls the relay. If you have a fuse box, that's cool. And then I have the coolest thing ever. This is a relay jump kit. And I can take it and I can open it and show you what's inside. Because inside of here, you have all the different relay adapters. Now that's nice because I don't have to go poking or damaging any wires. I can just put this in series. Now our board right here, we have a couple of relays up here. AC, high pressure, low pressure, and then we have a fuel pump relay. We're going to deal with the fuel pump relay. And if I pull that out, I'm going to put our adapter here that I got at rockauto.com right in series with it, which is super cool because now I have the ability to make all my measurements and jumps if I want to jump it and see if it's actually working or the circuit's working. Got a voltmeter right here. I'm going to go to ground. When I go to ground down here, I'm going to come up. I'm going to touch terminal. That's supposed to have power right there, which is 13.97. That's good voltage. And then I want to jump that over to that, we said earlier, 30. Now be careful. You may have it at two places. One's low amps, the other one's high amps. So if I just take my fuse jumper wire, very important, and I jump 30 and 87, you can hear the fuel pump run. So what does that tell me or tell you out in the driveway? Well, it tells me your fuel pump's working, tells me your wire harness is working, but it doesn't tell you that the relay's bad. You still wanna make sure you have the control side. Maybe the computer's grounding it or a switch is grounding it on the other side of the relay to magnetically pull it in. So it's pretty complex, but you know, there's a lot of switches on a car and Rock Auto has them all. So let's head over to Tom and check it out and see what he's got for us. Now relays, switches, you know, they could be intimidating. You saw the measurements, not so easy. Tom, I'm also intimidated when I see these black boxes, relays and switches, I'm thinking I gotta go to the dealer. That's not the case, you guys have this as well. Right, yeah, sometimes if it's a, a box that's, that's hot and you're not even sure what it is, you just know, hey, that shouldn't be that hot, it needs to be replaced. If you can read a part of a part number or the entire part number, we have a part number search tab where you just type in the uh, bit of number you have if you, have, if you can't read a number, just put an asterisk in, and it, it'll pull up uh, examples of, of what it likely is. And here we can see I entered a relay number, and, and sure enough, there's, there's the relay. Now this is hugely important because, I mean, relays, they could be four pins, five pins. I mean, they're all different, and they're actually uh, vehicle specific. So, I mean, I got the part number, I'm getting the right relay, and more importantly, I'm getting it from rockauto.com. I don't have to spend three times as much at the dealer. Right, yeah, pe people assume a lot of complicated looking parts are dealer only, and yeah, you know, we have body control modules, engine control modules, instrument clusters. The high-tech parts you would think would be dealer only, and it might be, a, hey, I can't afford to repair this. Well, well you actually can. So. Now we saw some interesting tools over there, man. I love it. I just, you know, as an instructor, I'm talking about diagnostic tools. I wouldn't expect that at all. I found them on your website. Why don't you show our viewers where that stuff's at? We have the tools and universal parts tab, and it's arranged like the, uh, the for it is for specific cars under electrical and, and body, and uh, there's a tool section. The, the tools you were using are under electrical switch and relay. We have the relay test jumper, the pliers. There's lots of fun tools. You, you don't even know they exist until you get in there and have fun looking around. And you say, wow, I've been struggling with needle nose pliers and then my elbow trying to get that to work for all these years. And there's a tool that makes it easy. Yeah, and there's a tool to make a lot of things easy. Just go to the website and check it out. But stick around. There's plenty more Tech Garage presented by Rock Auto. Right after this break, we're coming back with the video question of the week.